Uh, he comes to us after 10 years. He's been performing here for 10 years. Uh, he used to be a regular at Caesar Palace in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the world's fastest hands, Ed Ellis. Thank you. Actually, could one ace be two? Could two be three? Could three aces actually be four? There they are. Make them welcome. There are four entertainers tonight. Thanks to you, I'm going to use all the cards. There we go. Got a few. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Smoky Jack. Smoky Jack. Good. If you laugh, I'll do some more dumb stuff. <laughs> Actually, quick change. <laughs> Last night, somebody goes, Man, that's good sleight of hand. And you know what? I, thought, I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> it's, like I say, it's not the sleight of hand castle, it's a magic castle. So I thought, let's do some magic. Diamonds and clubs will appear just like <laughs> People wonder how, I wonder why. <laughs> why do I do this stuff? Because I sincerely love to entertain. Just show a pack of cards and watch the deck right here, and one just kind of materializes right before your eyes. It's best to use all four, don't you think? Show <laughs> them like this, very clearly, face down, four aces. What do I do now? They said, how fast? I said, that's pretty well. I may show you how I truly got the nickname, the world's fastest hands. I bravely put the four aces into the center again, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades, and in midair, actually snatched them out. That's how I got the nickname, the world's fastest wow. hands. Thank you. Nine of hearts, watch the nine, because it knows exactly where the last ace is. Wow. Make it a little tougher. There's once, let's do it twice. Now that's very tight. We call this a magical commitment because I'm basically losing color here. <laughs> so before my thumb falls off, I think I should entertain you. Hold that. See how tight that is? It won't slip off. Everybody watch really close. You'll actually see the moment where the rubber band penetrates. Right through. Whoa! <laughs> cool. We'll wrap the band twice. The ring definitely on there. And we'll also wrap the band around the deck. Not once, but twice. Right? Mm -hmm. Check it out. Wrapped around there a couple times, the ring is right there. One of my favorite points is a magical moment where you just cast a shadow just like that, and the ring and the rubber band completely vanish. Magical for them, a drag for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a nice guy. So the ring's going to reappear in its original state. Watch this, okay? Just go like this, it'll reappear. But this time it's not wrapped around the entire deck, it's actually captured in one card. And that is... <laughs> <laughs> I can feel your card right there. There's a corner of your card. Hold on to that. I've got the four clubs. Watch really close. Or a magic wand. <laughs> Strike the deck twice, and the pieces twice, and they vanish. Not only that, if you strike the deck again, the pieces actually reassemble, just like this, into something quite interesting. Wow. And if you'll watch, if that corner matches, that's not for now. Thanks, I'm Ed Ellis. Have a good day. <laughs>